So if you're having trouble working from home, and uh, it has its pitfalls, that's for sure, here are some great tips for making working at home easier for you. Try your best to create a home office space. Make some room to put things away when you're finished. So it's a good idea to requisition the dining room. That is probably your first place if it's away from people. If you're lucky and you have one of those old fashioned dining rooms with doors on it, that would be your best best way to go. And I'd say that a way to make the dining room <clears throat> a much better working space would be to clear out some of the things in the cabinets that you're not going to be using right now. Like I was looking in my cabinets and I was thinking, well, I'm not going to use my chafing dish. <laughs> I'm not having anyone come over to eat out of a chafing dish. Um, I'm not going to use my my uh, big serving platters. I don't need anything bigger than this right now. And uh, you know, just the things that are only for entertaining, like if you have one of those big uh, electric coffee pots and that, just move that it's somewhere that's a long-term storage that you don't need to access until this is over. And then take that space to put your office things, your work things away when you're not using them. So at least that kind of puts them away uh, that it shows your mind that the work session is over and now it's time to go and be on personal time because when you're working at home the biggest temptation is to never stop because you're always one more thing one more thing one more thing it's never just one more thing and stopping and and resting and getting refreshed for the next work session will make you much more productive over time than being having no separation between the two and you 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 may be logging a lot of hours working, but I will guarantee you that your output will be much higher when you're getting regular rest and you're going to find that you're just so much more focused and productive in the, say, 7, 8, 9, 10 hours a day you are working than just kind of being, you know, all the time, work everywhere, laptop always open. That's just going to stress you out and make you miserable because then you're never going to be able to relax. You're never going to be able to step away from it. You have to come and go from it every day. I find that one of the biggest distracting things working at home is clutter because you always want to attend to it and even when you are so used to it you don't even see it there. It's this visual stress in your visual spatial field. I think it's important to take some time every day to just put things away. It's so simple. Five minutes a day of picking up and putting away over time will transform your house and transform your space. And if things don't have a place, ask yourself, does this not have a place because it's possible places filled with stuff I don't need? Or do I really need this thing and does it really need to be out all the time? And sometimes if you never ask yourself those questions, you're just going to live in a sea of your stuff and I find that so distracting when I'm trying to work on something. I think it's really helpful if you have other people at home while you're trying to work to wear headphones, but don't listen to podcasts, don't listen to the news, don't listen to music that is very mentally engaging because that's going to be distracting. Only if you're doing something very, very repetitive that you don't need your full attention should you do this at all. I think it's better to listen to like meditation music without a sort of linear uh, song structure, without memory triggers. I like to listen to Mozart piano sonatas. I just find that they're very focusing. There's only the piano, so it doesn't have um, percussion and uh, vocals and all the different things that are much more distracting. So that's a great way to cultivate a distraction-free background to your work. It could be a great way if you have, I mean, it's so hard for people working with children at home. I mean, I so much sympathy for families that have both parents working at home and young school age kids at home. That has got to be so, so hard. So at least try to set the boundary and say out loud. So how about from now on, when I have these headphones on, don't distract me unless something is on fire or unless... It's a true emergency. At least then you have something to reference to for the kids. Where you can say, remember what daddy or mommy said when I have the headphones on, you know. So you can at least try to cultivate a pattern. Better than just saying, well, 
you know, the kid can just say, well, how did I know you're not supposed to be disturbed? You're on the laptop all the time. How do I know what you're doing? You know, so at least try to be clear with your communication and, and do the best you can. Obviously, it's going to be hard. <laughs> so for me, I think the number one worst place to work in the house is the kitchen table, whether you're alone or you have 12 children in the house. And the reason for that is that the kitchen is the literal heart of the home. Anytime you need a glass of water, cup of coffee, make a meal, look in the refrigerator because you're bored, all of that happens in the kitchen. That's the highest traffic zone of the home. So if you're trying to get work done in the middle of all of that, that's a recipe for distraction. And even if you can requisition you know, okay, dining room is the best place. Then go for a guest bedroom. Don't have that, okay. Maybe then you go into your living room. The kids are in there, maybe then you go into your bedroom. You, you know, someone else is working in the bedroom. Maybe you put your stuff in a foyer. You know, just try to go through the list of where you can possibly work. Maybe even a bathroom that has like a makeup vanity. Maybe that could be made into a desk and you just tell, tell everyone don't use that bathroom. Just go down, the, don't focus on what you can do, just keep going down the list, tick away until you find what you can do.